bonsoir. Uh, je m'appelle Davin. Um, je ne parle pas français. I apologize. Please uh, silence, please. So I'll, I'll make this quick uh, because you've all got drinks and uh, and things to do. Uh, I'm here from uh, Devi. Unfortunately, Ray, the CEO, couldn't be here, so I am literally a last-minute replacement. I, I flew in uh, about an hour and a half ago. So uh, Devi is is basically uh, a layer one blockchain technology ecosystem. And uh, what you're all thinking right now, if you can understand me, is why do we need another layer one blockchain ecosystem? So the problem with crypto and the problem with blockchain is not the potential. The problem is not its its ideas. The problem is not uh, what people believe in uh, it, and, and what people believe it can do. The problem with crypto and the problem with blockchain is adoption. And the only way that you're going to get adoption is if you make it possible for people to use your platform and your technology. And so we built Debbie in the same way that that Ripple approached the, 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 uh, the financial markets and went after banking clients. We built Devi so that it would be fast, it would be scalable, it would be secure. It would literally outperform most, if not all, of the other technology available in the market. And we did it in a way that made it possible for Web2 or, or web developers to integrate via a RESTful API. And so that means that there are 20 million web developers out there currently who can plug directly into this technology. And more importantly, their users don't care that they're using blockchain. Their users don't care that they've got a cryptocurrency token or they've got access to these sorts of things. What their users care about is that they can have the fastest, the easiest, the most convenient and secure technology solution delivering exactly what they want in the way that they want it. There are companies out there right now who are screaming for a blockchain solution, but they can't use it because of regulation. They can't use it because of speed. They can't use it because it's too open. They can't use it because of risks that I, I haven't got time to describe. But if it was possible to provide a solution like this, they would be on board straight away. And that's the adoption that we're looking for. We're looking for end users. We don't want to buy end users. We don't want to charge more fees and replace the system that we're trying to replace already. Everybody says that crypto is a, a solution for banking and the fees and the middlemen, and we've heard all of this. That's, I mean, it's true, right? It is true. We can do that. But we don't. What we do instead is we charge money. <laughs> Has anyone used Ethereum recently? Has any, anybody paid for uh, a transaction on Ethereum? Does it cost less than sending money by a bank? No. Yes? No. So we use layer twos. We use layer two solutions. Uh, we use layer three solutions. We're providing a market where, where people, and, and one, of the, one of the markets that we're tapping into at the moment, uh, which I will explain if I have time, is um, ESG. Uh, so ESG is a $30 trillion market. That's a lot of money. Um, regulations uh, globally are starting to, to make it more and more uh, important that companies report on their environment and social good activities. And there's a lot of companies that want to offset the environment and social activities that they, that they are allegedly doing or that they are paying for to offset all the other things that they're doing. And so we make it possible to record and create uh, a record of ESG transactions. That's one of the markets that we're looking at with DevStream, our partner. We have obviously gaming, we have a marketplace. Uh, we have TS Nano who is securing um, oil and, uh, and, and uh, sealing oil and gas wells and, uh, and they're monetizing the, uh, the output from a, a, an environmental social good element. I'm not going to explain this, but effectively it's a value ecosystem where we invest in these projects, we invest in other ESG assets, that creates value that, that then effectively just continually cycles within the ecosystem and allowing people to build more value. Some of the projects that we're working on internally are a launch pad, financial inclusion. Obviously, these are things that crypto are focused on. We're working on an exchange, and, and when I'm talking about crypto exchange, it's not just a crypto exchange, it's a value exchange. And this is the promise that blockchain has, has, has basically as yet failed to fulfill, value. It is the layer that transfers value. And if you can transfer value effectively, then that is the adoption level that we're looking for. Security, digital healthcare, and these are all simple solutions for us. And these are things that you know, everybody is interested in. So I would invite you, if you're interested in looking at what our technology could do, 
to jump on our website, have a look at how you can create the next vision for, for your Web3 and what, what it is that you think that, that blockchain would, would empower. And you can sign up to use one of our innovation grant shards. Go to Digs on the Devi website, which is devi.io, and uh, we would like to help you. So thank you. Merci. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Well done.